probably be interesting to other people. Those are tough. What? Goodbye, Vapor Max that are not even out yet. <laughs> oh, what was that? Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln and this is Dan. And today we're going to cut open some Nike Air Max. No, not the Nike Air Max. I remember how much you guys all freaked out when we cut open Yeezys a while back and even the LED shoes. But to be specific, we've got the Vapor Max. They don't come out until March 26th. They did a limited release in Paris and somebody was crazy enough to sell one of their pairs and I got it. It has the most air of any Nike Air Max. And it also took the engineers at Nike five years to make this shoe. They had to go through so many different iterations because every time they changed one little air pocket, it would have an impact on it. And so they had to test these things out with 350 runners. The runs combined in testing this thing is equivalent to somebody running around the earth five different times. The last week of our lives have been insane. I'm still recovering from jet lag. We wanted to understand the story of the Nike shoes. Not just to tell you, but to show you a little bit where the inspiration of these shoes and of this bubble came from. We went to Paris. We went to Paris. The reason why we came to Paris for a little inspiration is because this building behind us is the Pompidou Museum. Do you see those, the escalator and how it has glass that goes through it? Look at this shoe. See the air? In 1987, the first Air Max Ones came out and it was the first shoe that ever had this little bubble in it and it was inspired by Tinker Hatfield of Nike. He came and saw this museum and he thought, I wanna do that in a shoe. Let's make the insides be on the outside just like this controversial building. Tinker almost got fired for it, but it ended up saving Nike and making Nike the big global company that it is today. There's birds everywhere. <laughs> What's gonna make this video kind of cool, at least I think, is we are gonna cut open the Air Max Zeros. So we get to see the very, very first pioneer shoe of this Air Max series. And then we also get to see the most advanced running shoe of the Air Max series all in one. Uh, when I was in Nike, I got to go and customize and design kind of my own very shoe. It was the Nike Air Max series. I picked all the colors, all the materials. You guys need to go to Nike and go and vote for my shoe. Vote for my shoe. We did go to Paris, but then a few days later we went to the Nike headquarters and Lincoln sat down with Tinker Hatfield and asked him a question about what should Lincoln be inspired by on the shoe that he creates. Maybe an easy way to sort of describe uh, how you might go about doing it would be, what do you what do you love? I like playing sports. Do you have a favorite team? I like Golden State. Golden and, State. Um, you okay, so if you go down that sort of like the, a list of things that, that are important to you, um, you can end up at some point and go, you know what, I could be inspired by the Golden State, or the Golden Gate Bridge. So maybe my shoe is going to be the color of the gold beef pitch. And maybe it'll have lines on it that, that, uh, that, are, that kind of look like all the cables that hold up the, the, the bridge part that people drive on. You know what I mean? Like you always look for something that is interesting to, you, to, your, to yourself because it might be, it'll probably be interesting to other people as well. And so I thought about what he said a lot and I decided something that's like I love and that's meaningful to me is the Tesla. And the cool thing is too is Lincoln got to show his design to Tinker Hatfield, the man himself, and got his thoughts on it. You can see how the inspiration came from Lincoln and I taking a trip to Paris all the way through to the final day when Lincoln designs this shoe. Stay tuned on the family channel, subscribe to that if you haven't already. Every day for the next five days we will have a new video showing our trip and it was and, a ton and of fun. What let's else? go cut these shoes open. Let's cut them open! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Okay, so we are in the fancy workshop of our awesome next door neighbor that we did the owl pellets Much video with. Much more fancy than ours, that's for sure. But last time we got one of these saws was when we cut open the Yeezys and I left the shoelaces on and yeah. it grabbed the blade and it broke the saw and I just threw the thing away. So, Lincoln, shoelaces, ah! take them off. Here we go. We got the shoes. I'm just gonna leave the paper in them. That's how new these are, they still have the paper in them. Safety first, thanks to my neighbor for these awesome safety glasses. They don't sell them like this anymore. These are cool, saw time. Goodbye, Vapor Max, that are not even out yet. Whoa, did you hear that pop? Yeah! That was the air pocket.
to get me one of these saws. That was amazing. Okay, we're not gonna look at it yet. We wanna cut the other ones, okay. and then we will keep them closed and take them home for inspection. Shoe time. Set him down first. Hold on, hold on. Give okay. okay, here we go. Here you go, guys. Here is the Air Max Zero. Doesn't look awesome. I don't, maybe it looks really lame. I don't know, we haven't Hello. seen it yet. Here you go, Lincoln. You can look at one. In three, two, one. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that air pocket. It's like there's... There's another one back there. Is there another one? Yeah, right or there. Or maybe we just cut right through the bubble. It looks like they have one in the middle, one of the little shock type supports or pillars in the middle, and so it looks like there's another pocket, but it's really all just one. Oh, I tried smelling it. I think I got particles of shoe in my nose. Oh, I'm not gonna Don't smell that. cut open shoes. The paper actually looks super cool that's yeah, cut open. It looks really cool how all the different ridges on the bottom of the shoe, I like that a lot. Yeah, it does look cool. When we were with Nike, they did tell us when we cut a shoe open, they told us that they actually cut open a lot of their shoes, but it's actually super helpful for them to cut it open and just take a look and see how all the different layers and how of how it's designed looks. So one question that I had for them is, what's inside of this shoe? Like what is this material in there? Is it really just air? They said they couldn't tell me what it is, but it is a proprietary gas type mix. The most air ever in a Nike Air shoe <laughs> paper Max lost the Paper Max. There we go. <laughs> the paper Max. Bad dad joke. There's just a bunch of little holes. Yeah, so this really is just air pockets. Yeah. It says not for resale, property of Nike. Haha, -ha, not property of Nike anymore. We own this Vapor Max and we killed it. Ever since the Air Max was created in 1987, they've been making these air pockets in the USA. They make them in Oregon and then they ship them to wherever they actually manufacture the shoe and then put them in. But what's really interesting is they, in 2015, they spent $40.5 million to build a plant that manufactures every one of these soles in, a, in the United States. It's in Portland. We actually have the soles. Yeah. Check it out. Awesome. So the front is separate from the back. They just put those on separately so you can run and it bends easier. How many of these do they give us? What in the world? I haven't looked in this bag since until now. <laughs> Look at all of these! Here is the shoe. <laughs> Not for resale. This is how they make the shoes. I think it's called Flyknit, where they make, they manufacture it all together in one shoe component. And then, and then they just turn it down and they connect it around the sides of this and then they put the insole into it. See that layer right there? Yeah. That's the layer that they usually will will have that layer on the shoe and then they glue on the sole. Well, with this one, they don't glue on a sole, which makes it so the shoe is lighter for runners and then it makes them even more so like walking on air. So when we cut through the Vapor Max with the saw, as soon as it hit the front, it made a loud pop. So let's try it with a knife and see what it does. Oh, I tried pretty hard and it didn't pop it. Okay, let's try again. Durability test. Those are tough. What the heck do they make that out of? What the heck is Ryan made this thing made of? This is a sharp knife. Yeah, that's sharp. You got it. A lot of you guys that are watching this video are probably like sneaker heads and you know all about these Nike Air Maxes and you know all about shoes. We didn't, we're just a normal person. And what did we learn from it? There's a lot that goes into manufacturing a shoe. You can go onto our family channel. We're gonna have five different videos of it. It was a really cool adventure. Lincoln raced against a gold medalist, an Olympic gold medalist. He played basketball on the Bo Jackson basketball court. That was, that was awesome. Please vote for me. <laughs> you like, can vote for him. Vote for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I want it. I want to win so bad. If you vote for Lincoln, and say you voted for Lincoln in the comments, Lincoln will give you a thumbs up on your comment. How's that for inspiration? Mm -hmm.